Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Several Salty Salmons. I, I don't, I can't remember things. Uh, I have some unfishness bidness. Uh, I discovered this, I discovered this before Kenobi yelled at me, but <laughs> he didn't, he didn't really yell at me. But, um, when I was doing this bonus game thing, and uh, I'm not even going to show the barrel part, because that part glitches out to holy hell, but, um... I was, like, avoiding... I was avoiding those things, and they're like, WHAT THE HELL IS HAPPENING?! <sighs> I'm telling you, man, this game... Uh, no, shut your dumb face. I... Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> I don't like what I'm seeing here. <laughs> These things are caves! I thought they were rocks, so I was avoiding them. <laughs> So I should I I need to I need to actually go in in them because interesting things happen, and I should have realized because um I was wondering how the hell do you get to these things? But whatever. When you're commentating, sometimes you're not fully thinking about everything. Which cave should I go in? Um, some caves have like flowers and stuff in them, so I'm actually gonna want to do this multiple times. And oh, uh, what's going on here? Oh, jeez. I guess if you go in this cave, you just flat out lose coins and there's nothing you can do about it. Alright, note to self, don't go into that cave. Go into the other cave. Alright, give me coins, give me coins, give me, give me, give me more coins. Wow, that was, was that just like the worst cave to go into? There is a severe lack of flowers in that last cave. Let me tell you that much. Not to mention the coins. Ooh, there it is! Give me. Woohoo! That's pretty much what I came back for. Because when I just went back here, I was like... I don't remember why I went back here. I think I was going to practice so I could get a better score. And then I just hit that rock, and I was like... But that... That wasn't a rock? Are you serious? Anyway, not showing this part. Alright, so I got... Uh... Okay. He raised the price. What a jerk. I'll hold you three extra coins. So, I, I did actually way worse this time than I did the first time. Let me see if I can get one of those other caves, though. Yeah, my heist... Uh, I think I need to... If I get, like, 60... Um, someone... I don't remember who... Someone claimed that if I do really well, I actually get a new weapon. Which... I don't know if that... If that's true, that's weird, because they already give you a weapon for completing this. And if you do better, they give you a better weapon, really? Because then they would skip the entire, entire use of a weapon, but it could be true. Um, as to whether I'll actually do that, well, likely not, as displayed by what just happened there, damn it. And there's nothing in that cave, so screw it, I'm not getting it again. Yeah. We're gonna go in here. Give me m multiple flowers, and don't, don't steal my coin. Ooh, it's a flower. That's a good start, give it to me. No, give it to me. You come back here, don't you dare mock me. I will jump on you, and then use your shell. Oh, they're playing keep away! But Give it! Give it here! Give it here! But Okay, that was cruel. That was... That was very cruel. There are bullies that have stolen little kids' hats that were less cruel than that. I didn't think they were gonna give the damn thing to me. But alright... <laughs> I got my two flower points, that's pretty much why I came here, and I went the other way last time, right? Right? Someone answer me! Don't answer me, you can't. That's the thing with these videos, you can't actually answer me. Stop trying. I know some of you have been trying to. Alright, I don't think I'm gonna try that again. Oh, I beat my score by one, one coin. So can you just get, like, an infinite amount of cash then? Or an uh, infinite amount of fry coins here, or does he run out? I figure he runs out eventually. I thought frog coins were finite, but I could easily be wrong about that. Anyway, Rose Town has supposedly been saved. Let's go check out if that is actually the case. And you can tell it's the case, because the music has changed, and it's all sunny out. Hooray! So there's a few things to check out. Um, this guy has a special line if you actually got the treasure chest, which I did, so badass. And everyone who was frozen has been unfrozen. These guys are, uh... Able to go outside and pump water. Do, 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 do. No, I want to talk to the middle guy. I should probably look up about those uh, seizures that are happening. I don't know if there's any way to fix it. However, the um, 
the game-breaking glitch where you go to equip something, I believe I fixed. I should probably test that out before uh, claiming as such. I should also hit the right confirm button for the menu. Eh? 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 Apparently, newer versions of ZSNES broke something. Which is not all that surprising. I mean, the newer ones don't even have netplay. If you want to use netplay like me and Daglas do, you actually have to use an older version of ZSNES. Which is never something that should happen. What the hell happened there? Um... Things are finally back to normal, thanks to you, Mario. I heard a big boom over the mountains. Guess things are starting with trend. Things are happening. Actually, there's only one house that I really need to go to. It's a necessity. What is... For God's sake. Oh, apparently now, if something appears, uh, everyone disappears. Oh, I'm, I'm just annoyed by this ROM. Well, what are you going to do? Gino, you came back. Mommy! See, Mom? This is the Gino I was talking about. My, my, what a fabulous costume. Must be kind of hot for the person wearing it, though. Ah, oh, forget it, Mom. All right, Gino, let's play. How I wish I could, but Mario and I must leave now to find... the missing star pieces. Star pieces? You mean, like, shooting stars? What for? Well, how do I explain this? Well, Gaz, it's like this. This is how it used to be. But now, it's like this. Do you get it? Uh, nope. You lost me. Well, let's just say that if things stay the way they are, your wishes will never come true. What? So you mean even if I grow up, I won't be strong and cool like you? No one's wishes will come true until the Star Road pieces are found and the Star Road is repaired. Which is why I have chosen to join these two in order to find the missing star pieces. Is that so? Well, Mario needs all the help he can get. Gino, I have a lot of dreams. Please, go fix the star road and make sure they all come true. That's a promise. Cool! Oh, wait, wait a minute. This is yours, Gino, so take it along with you. Got the finger shot. Thanks for being a good sport, Gaz. I'll see you when I get back. <laughs> There's so many good things about that scene, but the, that's one of my favorite scenes in the game. Because if you look, there's clearly a part where Mario is going to punch the little kid right in the face, and the only thing stopping him was Malo. <laughs> like, that's just amazing. Oh, you can let me, uh, I need some coffee to keep awake. She's gonna give me a free in space. Um, it's just, oh, I don't know how to do it. I thought she was going to let me, let me uh, use the beds. Um, the other thing is there's a mechanic to keep everyone in the same spot. Oh, I see. That's how you do it. There's a mechanic for, um, you know, there's only Mario on the screen and they walk into your body. The fact that they were interrupted and were interrupted from walking into his body. Is that freaking Link? That's Link, all right. <laughs> Classic Link noise. There's tons of little Easter eggs like that throughout the game. It's pretty wonderful. Uh, I think I'm done with Rose Town. Let's move on to other towns, then. Pipe Vault. Or to Mole Town. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 God. Oh, oh, dear. I know exactly what this is leading to. It's leading to a part that I don't know if I've ever beaten. At least not when I was a kid. It didn't... Didn't... Oh, oh god. I don't know if I even want to do this because I'm going to fail it. I'm really bad at it. So maybe I've gotten better. I'm older now. It'll be fine. Ow! My ass! Platforming. <laughs> I think you can fight these, actually. Yeah. 
Uh, oh! Wow, that did some damage. Get! Don't know what he was gonna do, there's only one of them. Now, not only that, but... Gino now has a weapon. Sadly, he has no armor, but... Not a huge increase. Chris, he's actually pretty powerful and armed. You! Get you! <laughs> What do Goombas think, I wonder? Pirat! I love that attack. Just a bunch of little pellets shoot out of my arm. Psycho Ball! Goomba Goomba. <laughs> what the? Goomba Gumba. Goomba di Goomba Boom. Hit! I was actually annoyed. There's some enemies you can't, um... You can't see what they were thinking, like the, the croc. Because... Like, because you didn't have Psycho back then. Although, you know what? You could probably level up Malo enough so that you did. Oh, God! <laughs> That's hilarious! See, they... They just put so much love and attention into this game. They actually coded something for that if you stand on top of the, uh, the slam guy. Something actually happens, like, and when you stand in that little girl in in the Mushroom Kingdom, something happens, like. Well, now, what happens if I get hit? <laughs> oh God, I love this game. Damn it, Square! What happened to you? That's all I want to know. Do I really have to fight you? God sakes, it's not even worth my time. I'm not even gonna do it. There, didn't hit the attack, you still dead. Might as well see what people are thinking. I may just be wasting time. So, I wanted to find a good place to talk about this. I just... Part of the reason I'm recording right now is I have to, like, but, like... Just try and jump on it. Yeah, he's immune to jumping. Sometimes you get clues. I just beat Bioshock Infinite. And I gotta say, the entire experience was kind of ruined for me by this ridiculous spoiler. And don't worry, I'm not gonna mention any even remote spoilers, but, like... Someone just posted a sentence with two major spoilers in it, and it seriously just ruined everything for me. But, like, to be honest, the gameplay was... Because uh, uh, every, you know, anyone who knows my channel for a long time is I complain about first-person shooters a lot. I don't... How do I... How do I... I want... I want... I WANT! I have way too much energy. Oh! Way too much energy right now. I want... I... <laughs> but, um... Uh, it just it just bothers me that it was ruined. Because if if I hadn't gotten those spoilers, I'd probably have a completely different opinion of the game. As is now, I'm like... Eh. Eh. And the thing is, I, I'm a huge sci-fi fan. There's some really great science fiction themes in the game. And those still rang true with me. Those were still great. But the fact that this, like... Jerkwad, and if I actually had the power to find out who this person was, I would actually use some type of psychic powers to blow up his computer. I'm assuming it's a dude. Um, but like, <laughs> I actually saw this great post. Um, there was a girl wearing a Bioshock Infinite T-shirt, and she said that she was wearing it at a coffee shop, and some guy was like, Bleh. "She's probably never played it." So I told him the ending, which I gotta say is pretty hilarious. But, ah, uh, I don't know that, whatever, I shouldn't talk about this for too long, but just the game, since I don't like first-person shooters and they toned down or completely eliminated all the RPG elements, I was just left with the shooter, and it was cool when you're on the skylines and stuff, but most of the time you're just shooting people with guns, and all of the vigors, like, there's so many of them, and it's just, it felt cumbersome to switch between them, because... Well, no, I actually could have I could have set that properly. Oh, crap, he's dead. Boom. But, um... Uh, it just... Plasmids were so much better, and, like... <laughs> and I just I just have to compare it to the, you know, to Bioshock. And I, I definitely like Bioshock a lot better. Apparently, I should play System Shock. The thing is, it's apparently really hard to get the first System Shock due to weird compatibility issues. But I don't really want to play... What's going on? I don't really want to play uh, System Shock 2 before I play System Shock 1. That's right, mate. Step right up. Ten coins to do some Goomba thumping. How about it? Sure, why not? That sounds cheap. You know the rules? 
I'll figure it out. I think I just have to jump on Goombas. Okay, one Goomba gets you one point. One, uh, gold Goomba gets you three points. Get more than 20 points, you get a thrice. No, didn't I say no? Was I... No oh, thanks. Weirdo. Alright. Get as many as you can. Ready? Go! Hit. Damn it. Damn it! Damn it! Why is this so hard? No, see, look at that! Really? That's not enough for you? I'm just gonna do this. No. Ah! This is, this is way harder than it should be. I gotta tell you that much. Oh, God. See, like, I jump on the pipe and it doesn't hit the Goomba? You could expect that a little bit better. Anger! Ooh! Hey! If I can't hit a gold Goomba when I'm sta- Oh, jeez. When I'm standing on it, how the hell am I gonna get it when I'm not standing on it? Also, I feel like I'm gaming the system here. <laughs> Even then, I only got 13 points, huh? You know what? Let's try that again. Okay, I may be gaming the system here, but... <laughs> This is like the fifth time I've tried this, it all comes down to luck, and it's the only way I can do it. It's just gonna matter... If I hit one spiky, I d I'm not gonna make 20, basically. But I just need... Oh, oh, see? How could I possibly jump on that? If I can't even jump on it here, how can I possibly have enough time? Oh, whatever. Now I just need to not jump on a spiky, and I'll finally get it. 21. Give me my prize, jerk. That took way too much. Ooh, flower tab. Worth it. Ooh, I never used my flower box? Bam. Why do I have a mem memory of, like, 99 being the max? Really? I'm already halfway there, if that's the case. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. It'd be cool to have more than, a, than a 99 flower points. Bang! Oh, that was it, huh? Shit! <laughs> I thought that was the exit. Hit, hit, hit. Ah, shit! Can't go down that pipe. But yeah. Bioshock Infinite. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it deserves the quite the 10 out of 10s that it's getting, but I don't know. Whatever. It's definitely a good game. Anyone who says it's not is... Well, I... Uh, I can't say that. But if it wasn't for, like, the visual spectacularness of it... I don't know. Whatever. I just beat it. And, again, I've... I've been peppered by bitterness of, uh, spoilers. Yeah! I was... Oh, I tried so hard. I tried so hard to avoid spoilers, but you can't avoid as someone who's deliberately... There, there's a difference between avoiding someone who's not trying to spoil your things and just someone who's de obviously deliberately trying to ruin the experience for someone. That can be very hard to avoid. Ugh. And I've actually successfully managed to avoid all Game of Thrones uh, spoilers, because I've, uh... I only watched the first episode of the series, and then I was like... Well, no, the first episode of Season 3. And I was like, um, I kind of, I might want to just read the books, because here's the problem with, with me and books and media turned into books. If I read the book, uh, whatever media is associated with it will not be good to me in most cases. Like, um, I actually liked the Harry Potter movies until I read the novels, and then I couldn't watch the movies anymore, because I just, instead of watching what was there, I kept on seeing what wasn't there. And it was the same thing with Game of Thrones, like, I... I, uh, I didn't like the second season, like, all that much, because I had read the books and I just kept on seeing what wasn't there. And now that enough time has passed, I actually really like the third season, because yeah, now I've watched up to episode three. I'm going to watch, I'm going to, like, mainline the entire series now that it's over. And that's how I prefer to watch things. I hate that whole wait for a week or whatever. I'd rather just wait till it to be over and then watch them all at once. Holy crap, you're not an enemy. <laughs> You're a jerk stealing coins! Um... Yeah, one... Now I don't remember the book as much, because I hadn't just read it. And we're into territories that I haven't read, because I only read up to the beginning of book three. Though they actually, in the first episode, there's apparently a scene from book four, which is... They're really accelerating certain things. But I think... When I thought about it, like, honestly, I was like, I'm not gonna read the books in any timely manner. I just don't have the concentration for it. And when I say read books, I of course mean audiobooks. Because I have reading problems. I just can't read at the speed as, of uh, most people. And, like, books are especially hard. Like, comic books are okay for me. Because 
things happen in pictures also. Like, when it's just a gigantic wall of text, my mind just, like, implodes. I can't deal with it. And there's just a bigger chance of me just screwing things. Like, ugh, I just get lost. But, whatever. What are you gonna do? Even comic books are hard for me, because my eyes are starting to go a little bit. Uh, yeah. Should probably be using magic instead of mushrooms, but I certainly have a crap load of mushrooms. More flour. Oh, jeez. Don't want to fall down there. Oh, really? Screw it! I don't want you- Oh, God! Oh, oh jeez. I don't want your stupid coins. It's just a trick to make me lose coins. Crap, I'm here. I'm here! I'm here to the place that I shouldn't be. The place that I should run away from. To avoid, avoid all the embarrassment. It's Yoshter's Island! It's probably Yoshi's Island, but they didn't have enough letters. Look, it's the Yoshis! And they're all like, Bring down! Bring down! Bring down! Whoa, wait for him. That dude's a rebel! He's not all like, Bring down! He's like, Bring for him. Mario, I'm glad you finally made it to the island. Hold of home of the Mushroom Derby. Say, now that you're here, we could use your help. Please talk to a few of my pals here and... What? You can't understand them? Well, hop aboard. I'll be your interpreter. Yay, Yoshi! Yoshi! What are you looking at? Oh no, it's Broshi. If you want to challenge me, you have to bring some cookies. It'd be so much better if we could all race together, instead of against each other. Wait, did I just... Oh, cool, I can jump. Awesome. Oops, I didn't mean to jump off you. Hit. Get on the saddle. Get, get on the... Get on the saddle. Oh, apparently I have to talk to you. Get on the saddle now. Apparently I just can't jump on your back, because you find that weird. Come back, come back here. What, are you cracked? Racing is my life. I could run all day. Broshi here is the fastest runner, but he's so full of himself. Hey, Yoshi! Think you can beat old Broshi today? Uh... I can't, but sure! Here, take my cookies. Good luck! I'm a rootin' for ya! Thanks! I've got major support on my side, so I could probably win today. Nope. Got some Yoshi cookies. Broshi only races one-on-one, -on -one, so everyone can't join us. Bummer. Yoshi! <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna be able to do this. God damn it. So, you brought the cookies. Alright. Consider yourself lucky today. You've got yourself a race. One-on-one! -on -one. Oh, I, it just doesn't work like other rhythm games, damn it. Hello again. Get ready. The Mushroom Derby is coming up. Want instructions? Yeah, because, uh, I'm just going to read these silently to myself. What's A and B? This is A. What's B? I'm using a PlayStation controller. I think that's B. Alright. Press the Y button to eat a cookie. It gives you energy to help you go faster. That's like the Chow Boost button. Want the instructions again? Yeah, sure. I'm sure you tell me the instructions again will help me. Let's practice. I have to be quiet for this. There you go, that's the way. Alright, it's encouraging that I did that part correctly, because I remember practicing and, be and being like, the hell you doing? But there's no indication when you get it right either, so I can't, like, correct usually. But alright. This is as easy as it gets, man. Alright, let's see if I can do this. But when am I supposed to press it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what even beat I'm supposed to do this through. I'm like, I don't hear it. Like, doesn't that sound like I'm synced up? Damn it. 
I don't, I don't understand. I need to practice this several times before I can show this on screen, because I'm determined to freaking do this. I've never gotten the reward for beating this. I know what it is, because the person who I originally borrowed this game from when I was a kid was able to do it, but I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do there. But all right, let me try it. I did it on my third try. All right, first of all, here's one tip. Just use all the stupid cookies at once. There's no reason not to. I can't believe it's that easy. Are you kidding me? What was? I was. I was like. Ugh. Oh, never mind. I'm. I'm annoyed. <laughs> I'm literally annoyed at how easy it was. The, my first attempt there was basically what I did as a kid. Like I actually tried to put the controller up to the mic so you could hear me. Like dun dun dun. Because that's not even the beat you're supposed to follow. It's the freaking. Never mind. Whatever. But <laughs> this game. Wow, unbelievable! You just beat Broshi! Starting today, Yoshi is the new boss here! Since when have you been able to sprint like that? Oh, well, I had my day in the sun. Let me give you a tip. Race someone slow. That way, you'll be able to stash away the cookies. But we don't need a boss. Anyway, I just want to raise. Come on, Broshi. Let's see what you're made of. Hmm. All right. Just stay out of my way. Oh, here's the cookie stash for the winner. Thanks to you, Mario. I finally beat that rascal. And now we can all race together. Here's something to remember me by. Got a Yoshi cookie. Next time you're in trouble, use this to give me a call. It was seriously... Ser it was seriously that simple. I just needed to... Uh, God damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> My poor childhood shelf would be freaking out if he could see this video. Poor dude. He, he was so annoyed. I did think... I beat, like, the secret bosses in this game. And I could... Uh, so wait, you can store cookies? I don't I don't actually know the system because I've never seen this before. Oh jeez. Let me see if I'm allowed to race again. I just wanna I just wanna try this. Let's see. This time the odds are far towards Oh you bet you you bet uh you bet cookies. Okay. How many cookies do I have? How about one, because I don't know what's happening. All right. So apparently, you bet cookie. Ah, oh, I don't know what's happening. And I'm racing three Yoshi's this time. Hit. Oh, there we go. It's, I, when I was a kid, I was just doing it too fast, because I thought it was a doom 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 and it's not. It's not that at all. Oh, well. I don't know what's happening. Let me just leave this island. I'm just glad I was able to do that. Because <laughs> I actually, I was, I was kind of dreading that, because I thought this was going to be a sticking point in the LP where I couldn't do the... Do I seriously have to take that pipe to get off this island? No, there's a back door to the island. I'm not going to question that, because that makes very little sense. But all right. Uh, how much time have I wasted with Yoshi's? Whatever. I don't know how long it's been, but the important thing is that I was able to talk about Bioshock Infinite. And, <laughs> and if I ever somehow find a way to find out how who that person who spoiled it is for me, I will... I will find a way to destroy his computer and possibly... Well, he doesn't deserve to be punched in the face, but I would love to blow up his computer. And I mean actually blow up. I want, like, computer shrapnel in his room. Come on in. Don't be shy. Everyone's up at the mountain, but I'm here stuck mind in the store. What you need? I need weapons, ma'am. Do you have weapons? Symbols? Seriously? Sisley? Alright, give me some symbols. I already have a finger shot. If you don't go back to that kid, you don't get the finger shot. Ooh, a punch glove. 
Back to the basics, I see. Let's get a mega shirt, a mega cape, and mega pants. And work pants. <coughs> huh. I must say I don't much like how you can't, um... Can't see the stats here. A mid-mushroom, you say? Sign me up. And maple syrups. That means that these things are a thing of the past. Don't need you. Don't need your damn honey. I'll keep a honey syrup, whatever. I can do something in the field. And a Yoshi cooking. Summons Yoshi during battle. I'm afraid I only have one. <coughs> but that's okay. One is all I need. Actually, I don't need any. Uh, these self are a lot. I don't really need them. I gotta remember, I was watching my battle versus Boyer, if that's how you say his name, and if it's not, I don't care. Um, and like, I there's a point where I really should have used an elixir, <laughs> but I didn't. I can't help it, I know I said I wouldn't do that, but... Eventually I'm just gonna look up how to get out of the treasure chest and get them all at once. Or maybe I'll do that intermittently. There's actually a video that shows all of the treasure chests, and that's that's actually very beneficial. That's not what I meant to do. By the way, freaking mole people, that's kind of creepy. That's not in any Mario game. Dino went to the mountain with little might. <laughs> Get it? Dino and might. But a star crashed in the mountain. Oh my, a star crashed in the mountain, now they're trapped. I think I know where I'm supposed to go. You. So I don't think there's actually a lot of people in their houses, because most of the people are, in fact, up at that mountain. Yeah, no one here. But treasure chests! No, of course not. There's got to be at least one hidden treasure chest in this town, though. And I'm going to not look for it. Uh-oh. <coughs> oh god, Magikoopas. Wait a second, his army looks like it's dwindled a little bit. I think he lost all of his shield warriors. Bowser, most of our allies have run off. What will we do now? We've only had experience fighting Mario. These new guys are too much. Oh, shut up, all of you! I'm the biggest, baddest brute around! And don't you forget it! But if Mario hears that I've been kicked out of my own castle, my reputation will be ruined. Even I have an image to keep up, you know. Let's show them who's boss around here. Bowser, I never really thought much of you anyway. You failed at every endeavor you tried, so don't worry. Your reputation is already horrible. And not horrible in a, you're an effective villain way. Horrible in a, you're terrible at being a villain way. Oh god, what's happening here? The men folk are doing their best inside. I'm digging from the outside. We gotta help them folks out. It doesn't seem to be going very well. Also, why do you need to wind up to dig? Whatever. I knew it was bad news when a star fell into the mountain. Sure enough, it's causing trouble. A star dropped in the mountain and trapped some kids inside. To make things worse, one of the men folk is stuck inside too. Please, Mario, you gotta help us. <coughs> Cough. What's happening up there? Is she still working up a sweat? Yeah, and so are the men. Everyone's digging and digging. I can't keep up with them. Don't worry about it, Mario's on the case. Oh dear, I sure hope the kids are okay. I know the feeling, but moping around ain't gonna help a thing. That's what I told her, but I don't know if I'd be feeling any different if I was her. We're getting nowhere fast. We'll never reach the kids at this rate. See up there? That's the old mine entrance. But we ain't gonna... But we can't reach it anymore. If only that fellow, uh... Mario were here. He could reach that in a heartbeat. What? Well, speak of the devil. Well, I'll be a Goomba's uncle, if it ain't him in the flesh. Mario, you're a lifesaver. Mario, have you heard the news? Sure have. Mario, you'll help those rest of them, of course. Nope! I really want to see what this says. Don't flake out on us, Mario. Please, we're begging you. <laughs> I just... 
No! Mario will not rescue these children! <laughs> Thanks, Mario. Well, the entrance is up there. Here, hop on our shoulders. Sure thing. Whew. I'll be up there in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Oh, God. That was a rock. <laughs> in a minute. Boom! Whoa. Alright, you don't like that, huh? You like... A little bit of heat? Firebomb figure. I figured that would do it. How much HP do you guys actually have? Are you one of those weird ones that has like 5 HP but a billion defense? No, 26. <laughs> Got a thorn in my foot. Alright. So apparently he is vulnerable to thorns. I might need to use magic on these guys. Let me see how much he does. Yeah, everyone's doing one point of damage. What? How does Malo do more damage? That doesn't make any sense. Whatever. Give him the beam. Power! That did it. Shit! <laughs> Alright. Gino has acquired his first on-screen level. Um... <clears throat> You need some magic defense. Let me just see here. 20... I should check out his stats to see if he's more warrior or more mage to start out with. Then I'll know which way I should push him. So, he has pretty high attack and terrible magic. You know, somehow I always considered Gino to be more of a mage type character, a hybrid, but no, he's a, he's a warrior. And that's why he gets torn up by magic so much, I guess. Although, his magic defense is only slightly lower than Mallow's. Oh! No, it's not. Malo has equipment, apparently, that raises... Oh, speaking of equipment... Um... We want... We want this. Wow. Alright, awesome. We want the symbols, which is a pretty hilarious weapon, if I remember right. And now we're gonna do comparisons. These are the work pants. This is the mega cape. Okay, so first equip the mega cape. Then equip the work pants. What the... What reason do I have for not just giving everyone work bands? There's none. What the... I should've just bought all work bands. It... They're flat out better and they raise attack. Well, children, I'm sorry. I have something that I need to do. <clears throat> Cause... Why would you do that? Does it... Did it cost a lot more? Did I not notice that it cost like five times the amount? Like why? What is happening here? Um, buy... It costs the same amount! That doesn't make any sense! That is a completely illogical RPG convention. There's no drawback to these work bands. They're just flat out bad. Wait, I'm wrong. I should probably fit it. Alright. Lower defense, higher attack. I got you now. Alright, so that was the difference. But with Gino, it all went up because I wasn't... Alright, I get it. But to be honest... No, these are flat out... These are flat... Magic attack is raised too! It... That's such a... That was such a big increase in attack and magic attack that I might not even be wearing the next armor after this unless it's a major increase, because I'd much rather have attack. Weird as hell. Alright, whatever. Oh, cool, that guy didn't respond. Interesting. That, that's actually quite surprising. Uh, what are you doing here? You're from the Mushroom Kingdom. Hey, have you heard? There's a rare item hidden in the mines. If you find it, I'm gonna sell it to someone in town. I'm in it for the money. <laughs> At least you're obvious. Oh my god, I'm fighting the mushroom man. Oh no, it was the, it was them. So <laughs> it really looked like I had slammed into mushroom man. Holy crap, that was damage. I like to say it's the work gloves, and I messed up my timing. Interesting. What do you have to say with me, Babam? Ouch! Hey, watch it! I didn't even hit you yet. Maybe he's worried that if he's tapped hard enough, he'll explode! Tap. That's not enough to kill him. There we go, now it's a triple punch instead of an uppercut. Bong! Yeah. Oddly enough, the increased attack is him opening up his symbols. 
Which doesn't seem like that would hurt anymore. It's the clap that does it. And he would open up a, them up anyway, wouldn't he? Whatever. Not all the increased animations need to make sense, I guess. They just need to be different, eh? Wow. Ah. Fireballs. This place is confusing. Like... It's, it seems like this is a big circle. Hmm. Uh. Okay, uh, dodge. At least the enemies seem pretty easy to avoid. I actually kind of wanted to get one or two more battles. Because I've, like, avoided everyone. <laughs> Holy crap, what is that? It's the crystalline energy from Star Trek. It's gonna devour this entire world. Uh, possibly. I divided my attacks so that I can finish them both off with this. Nice. Psychic! Holy crap, he exploded and killed Mallow. <laughs> he exploded and instantly destroyed Mallow's face. Alright. Fortunately, Mallow is back, because combat has ended, and he can rain upon himself. Because that's just something that, uh, marshmallows and pants do. We shall call him Pants Mallow. Kapow! Instant death. What the hell? It's a pig that turns into many little pigs. Which I must say is creepy as hell. Uh, let's attack Crazy Pig. Damn it! Or let's not, that's fine also. I can just psych him out, I guess. And someone's immune to magic. Everyone, for example. Uh, dodge it! Magic attack not blockable. Well, you're also not going to get to do that again. Or you are, because I messed up the timing. What is going on here? Whatever. Now you're gone. Unless he somehow mysteriously dodged me again. You! Let me see the fiber of your fabric! Cool. One, two, three. Gather round and watch. Are you some type of magician? He certainly could. That's not. Is that even a pig head? Am I. Am I interpreting that wrong? I don't know. What are you doing? What the. What did he just. What is he doing? I don't know what that status effect is. I don't think I'm doing decreased damage. So, like, I really don't know what that status effect is. Maybe it's decreased defense? Because scared is decreased attack, I'm pretty sure. But I don't think there's actually any place in the game that lists all the different status effects, so that might just... I, I don't even remember that one. I don't even know what I'd call it. Um, let's go more attack. Cool. Now, do I have enough attack now to actually pierce these guys' defenses? That's something I'm wondering. Yes! <laughs> I just wasn't... I didn't have my new weapons equipped, and that's why I was doing no damage to them. Lucky! Looks like I'll get to fail at a gambling game after this. Yeah! Blocked it in. Holy crap! Can't block that. <laughs> Gotta watch out for that crap. Alright. You know what they say about me, baby. I'm a gambler! Where's the Yoshi? He's clearly in the center. Ugh, oh, at least I didn't lose. <laughs> and Malo has reached level 8. Let's make you the crazy magical powerhouse that we all know you are. And incidentally, that is where I stop the game. Hopefully I didn't annoy anyone with Bioshock, because I know that people love that game. But, ugh. If you're going to take a game that was RPG and shooter, and then present it in front of me that doesn't like shooter, and take out all the RPG elements, pretty much. And also the sense of choice, you can't make any choices like in all the other by- Alright, never mind. I'm- <laughs> it, it was an- it was an okay game, it was- uh, whatever. Anyway, I am Cross Knights, we'll be back to playing uh, Mario without me talking about Bioshock the whole time. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I needed to vent to someone about that. It might just be someone who can't even hear me for the until like a week from now. 
Later. <laughs>